welcome to another review tutorial video. So we've done building our tortoise robot, so today we're going to start programming and also I'll teach you how to remote control your robot using your phone. So before I teach you how to make the robot move, I think it's important to teach you the principle for walking robots or crawling robots or any robot that moves while using limbs. So here's something, here's an example. So let's say this is a claw of the robot. A part of the robot, it will be the movement is something like this. It will be on the ground, you push backwards, lift to its original position, and then push backwards again. So it's a, a cycle like this push, lift, land, push, lift, land, push, lift, land, push. So we are going to apply this principle onto our tortoise robot. So remember that this principle works on all types of robots. So as long as the movement is push, lift, land again, then the robot will be able to move. So I will show you this on one leg first. So first, this will be the forward position. So I'll call this landing, the landing position. So it will push backwards. So what this will, this will do is, let's say all the legs do this at the same time. What will happen is the robot will push itself forward. Okay, so once it has pushed itself forward, you can't just push it back to push yourself forward to the original position because if you do that you push yourself yourself backwards again and then forwards and then backwards and then forwards and then backwards so you just get stuck so what you have to do is after you push yourself forward the leg needs to lift from the ground so that it won't apply the friction and then push itself then when it's lifting move back to the original landing position and then push it again lift go back land push, lift, go back, land, push, lift, go back, land. So this is a cycle that the leg needs to move in so that in order for the tortoise robot to move. So you need to make sure that all four legs are synchronized, all four legs are using this sequence and then they're going to, going to be moving at their own pace. So at one moment, no two legs will be in the forward position, no two legs will be in the backwards position, they need to be in their own particular positions in order for the robot to move. Okay, so now we're gonna go to teach mode and I'll show you how to program the robot to move. So now I'll, I've turned on the teach mode on the robot. So go to teach mode first, and then I'll select file 1 and start teaching. So just as I said before, every leg there's four movements. And then since there are four legs, each will grow on their own pace. So, okay, I think I just go on to teaching. So, I think the starting position will be like this. So, for this side, both legs will be open. <coughs> will be facing outwards. And then for this side, both legs will be facing inwards. And then for one leg, I will lift it. I will lift up one leg. And then here, I also lift up one leg. For one side, both legs are pointing outwards, on one side both legs are pointing inwards and then for one side there's one leg lifting, one leg landing and then for this side one leg lifting, one leg landing. So for this walking sequence there will be a total of four time frames and then in each time frame one leg will be pushing so you can say that the four legs are taking turns pushing the robot forward. So when one leg is pushing the other three will be moving to, will be progressing to the position where they will be able to push when the previous leg has done pushing, so so it's, it's something like what, this leg push, and then another one this leg push, and then another one this leg push, and then another one this leg push. So they take turns pushing, and then when one motor is pushing, one servo is pushing, the other servos will be moving to the position where they'll be able to push. So we can say that the legs are taking turns moving the robot. So this is the first time frame. One. See, this is the first. So for this leg, since the robot will be moving in this direction, for this leg, since it is already pushed the robot forward in the position, so it will have to lift. Okay. And for this, since it is lifting to the starting position, it, be, it should go back. For this leg, it has already pushed, you have to lift. And for this leg, you have to go back to the landing position. Okay. So this will be frame 2. So now this leg will push since it's in the landing position. 
you move backwards to push and then this leg is lifting so it will lift the leg back to where it will be able to access the landing position on the next time frame so back here this will move, lift itself forward and then this will push the robot so in this time frame the pushing servo is this one okay. so that's the third so this is the last time frame so this one we go back to the landing position this one it has already pushed the robot so it will lift this one go back to the landing position and then this one will lift okay so there will be a total of four time frames of course you can do as many as you want but four is the most efficient so after this I'll stop so after it, after it's done doing the previous sequence it will loop 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 and then over and move forward so let's go to play pause See it's moving forwards. Okay. So we'll see this side push, lift, push. And you see the legs are taking turns pushing a robot and then that's the walking principle. Of course, I recommend that you try this out for yourself because maybe it's too hard to take in because it's hard to imagine how the robot actually moves. So if you have problems understanding how it moves, you should try it for yourself. Or you can also go to the internet and check because there are a lot of websites where they discuss about walking robots so you can learn about the sequence and the principles about walking robots. Okay, so after this we'll be going to the real animator. So and then I'll teach you something new. Now I'm going to show you a new tool that we can use in the real animator, which I haven't touched yet before. So it's called download from robot. Download from robot to fix these type of problems. So let's say my program is in file one. Click download the robot, file 1 and then OK. It will practically download the program from the robot onto the computer. So I can use this to fine tune the program. So let's say I made a mistake here, I can just use this, the real animator to fix the problem. So it's very useful. And then another thing you can do is, let's say, after I download it, download the program from the real controller, I can upload it back to a separate file. So let's say I want the program to run in file 5 and file 1, then I can literally copy the program from file 1 to file 5 through this method. So mainly the user is to fine tune program, so if I want to make a walking program, I can just do a very very rough program, and then I can just fine tune it through the real animator. So another thing we can do this, we can do we can do with the download from robot is let's say the previously file one is the move forward program. Download it again to refresh it. And then after that I can upload it to this slot here. Previously it only talked about file one to five. As, but as you can see there are another eight slots here. So I'll click this one. I'll take loop and then OK. So let's see where I've uploaded the program to. Now you need to download the Rero Remote app on your phone first, so just go to the Play Store the market, then search for Rero. Then the first app that should pop up is the Rero Remote. So just go there and download it. It's it's free to it's free in the store. Remember to turn on your robot and then go to Remote. This is where you'll be able to turn on the Bluetooth of the robot so that the phone will be able to detect the robot and then connect it via Bluetooth. Now that you've turned on the Bluetooth on your robot, remember to turn on the Bluetooth on the phone also. Then you can turn on the app. Just so you can see clearly. So if you turn it on the first side, it won't connect to the robot. So click on the top right corner of the Bluetooth icon. You start searching. So the name of my real controller is Test. So of course, look for the look for the name of the controller or your own Euro. And then you can type the pin. Pin is always 1234 on the first side. 1234. Done. Then press OK. See, it's connected. Now that, now here's what the app will look like once you turn it on. So the Bluetooth on the robot is, has been activated, and then the Bluetooth on my phone has also been activated. So the name of my robot is Test. So whatever you name your robot, it will be shown here. So you know that you've connected to the correct, the correct Vero controller. So just now on the com on the computer, I've uploaded the program to this slot. So if I press this, the robot will start moving. It'll start playing file one. The, the 
walking program. Okay. I click it, and I press it, it will keep on repeating the movement, so it keep on moving forward. So this is how you can program your robot to be remote controlled. So you can also add other programs. You can still run file 1 to 5 through, the, through here, but you gain access to the 8 extra buttons here. So here's what I've done. I also added a turning program. You can see the robot's turning. And also for here, for these four, I've added, I've added some action sequences. So there's something like uh, exercising. Of course, a real turtle wouldn't do that. You can customize your remote control to have your own move set. So turn, turn, turn right, turn left, move backwards, forwards, and then dance, crawl, or anything. You can add anything you like. So this is where you can start to customize your robot. So um, here's the task for today. Try to complete the move set for your robot. Make sure you can move forward, turn right. You can think of how to make a robot turn. It's actually around the same principle. Turn left, move backwards, and then you can add a few actions to the robot like this exercising action or whatever you like. So start customizing your robot today. So that's all for today. So in these two tutorial videos, we have gone through on building and programming the tortoise robot. And we've also completed our first walking robot. So from now on, we'll be doing more robots that move with limbs other than using wheels to move around. So you also learn how to use, you also learn about the, the walking principle, how a robot walks, the main principle behind it. And next time, we'll be going through another robot. So before you move on to the, the next tutorial video, remember to complete the task. Remember to complete the moveset of the robot so that you can remote control the robot to move around and you can play with it so this is the end of the video so maybe last time we'll be seeing the, the tortoise robot so say goodbye and then I hope you enjoy the videos thank you very much <laughs>